Welcome back to the Adventures of Happy Hours. In our last episode of our Florida Mini Loop trip, we visited Black Point Marina in South Florida. Stopped for a nice lunch at Black Point Ocean Grill as we rested up for our Biscayne Bay crossing and our first real Florida Keys anchorage at Elliott Key. Follow along with us as we travel the Florida Mini Loop from Cape Coral to the Florida Keys. Welcome aboard. Good morning, good morning. From Elliott Key. Look at how beautiful it is this morning. So much for the clouds that they called for. And a nice night's sleep. Yes. Yep. Pleasant, quiet. Yes, we didn't get bounced around at all. But um, it's starting to fill up over here, Saturday morning. What's today's date, Bridge? <laughs> six, seven, June, six. Uh, July 6th. July 6th. July 6th. Day 22, Saturday. I think. Wow, counting. day 22 on mm -hmm. the Florida Loop. Yeah. So, um, I've been to shore a couple times taking Mady and got attacked by bugs both times. Surprisingly, this beachy shore where all the boats are is not a very nice beach. Um, it gets very rocky corally as you get close so it does a number on the bottom of the dinghy and also on your feet you need to watch where you go some areas you can't even get off the boat like i went over this way this little beach I videoed that. yeah and um like those coral things that if you step on you get spikes in your foot <laughs> so you don't want to go that way so i went over this way but um yeah so we're thinking I mean, the water is beautiful I've seen a turtle and a stingray swinging, um, uh, swimming under the dinghy. Yes, yeah, swinging. They were swinging. The turtle and the uh, stingray were swinging under the dinghy. But um, so we're going to go for a little dinghy ride, the three of us, and see what, what we see. And uh, then probably head out of here and further south towards Key Largo. So I think that's our plan. But we had a great night here. It's a wonderful anchorage. A little hard setting the anchor, but we have nice calm winds, so we didn't go anywhere. It's nice to just like see bottom. It's yeah. Really pretty. Yeah, I, I did. I dove under the boat, make sure everything was okay. We had some weeds wrapped around one of the propellers. Nothing major, but uh, so far so good. Oh look, you can see that bird all the way to the bottom. That's what those birds Where? do. They dive to the bottom, those little birds that you see come oh. up to the top and then yeah. they dive under. So, all right, let's see what we find today out on the water. Family going for a dinghy ride. Oh, <laughs> Always an adventure. Anchor's not really dug in, but it held okay in the light winds. Somewhere over here. Was that what I saw? Is that him running away? Whatever it was, it just buried underground, I think. Coming up on the park visitor dock. Lots of boat stock there. Plenty of deep water over here. These boats stayed overnight pretty much. I didn't think you could stay overnight. We're talking about the ocean beach. Another uh, beach you can pull up to over here. I wonder if it's just as rocky.
waters just motoring through it. Yeah, right. against the current pretty good. More boats over here by the inlet. Well, we're fighting to get to the inlet, so uh, you can see the current's coming in. So I'm going to turn around. We'll hit the ocean another spot. think Elliot Key. It was really nice. It was quiet, peaceful, the water was beautiful. We took an awesome dinghy ride. It was so much fun. It was yep. a great stop. Yep. Cell service was not great. But... Yes, very little cell service here. Like you're lucky if you get one bar, if any. So uh, data is limited. But yeah, well, so... it's Saturday, so that's a non-issue. Yeah, nobody's working, <laughs> but uh, I do a lot of research online, places to go next, where we should go, and we are going south, and we're going to travel about four hours and get to Key Largo, about to a nice anchorage over there, and hopefully go ashore to West Marine, <laughs> so uh, we'll see if we could find a dinghy dock, if I could walk or someplace I can land the dinghy to get some of those parts I need, like the float for the shower sump. So let's head on out of here. All right, anchor came up nice and clean. I need to check the locking wire. Looks like that's coming loose. I just wrapped around the shank a couple times, but we are off. As we're getting out of here, you can see the line of no wake buoys as you head into Elliott wow. Key. About that. Yeah, they don't want any wakes. Somebody <laughs> Distress, acknowledge, undefined, 27 UTC. From okay, and that's the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, it's a distress call from another boat on DSC. You should hear something about it. Like it. Distress, 1410 UTC. Any vessels in distress sending out a digital flight to calling distress alert. This is Coast Guard Sector QF, Channel 16, come in. Didn't hear anything else on the radio, so I'm guessing that was a false alarm. After you hit your DSC button, which is when you flip up, usually this protect button right here, and press that. For a few seconds, it sends out a digital alert to all vessels that have DSC on their radio and it gives you a location and uh, your vessel MMSI if it's registered so uh, you're supposed to call Mayday on channel 16 after you do that and we haven't heard anything so I'm guessing it's a false alarm here we are Key Largo we were just singing the song. You, you. I was just singing the song. Kokomo. Yeah. How do the words go, Bridge? Key Largo, Montego, 
baby, baby, why don't we go? Something like that. Bermuda, Bahama, Bahama, pretty mama. Whoa, whoa, what happened there? Got a bad camera. I gotta get a new phone. So yes, there is Key Largo to our left, right out over there. We're going through the card sound, going down through a couple bays, whatever this next bay is. And then we're gonna go into Anchor over here. I don't know what this bay is called either. But um, there's a Marriott Resort that has a dinghy dock and a restaurant. We're gonna pull up there, which is right around here somewhere, and then walk a half mile to West Marine. Get my float switch for that shower sump. Maybe do that today or tomorrow. But it's supposed to be a nice anchorage here. We're approaching Jewfish Creek here in Key Largo. And that big bridge up ahead is the US 1 bridge. It's the road that goes all the way down to Key West. And lots of boats coming out of this creek on plane. This is a fun creek to zigzag through. Reading on Navionics that this little cut off here to the right doesn't look like much, but that's a hurricane hole in there. Deep water you could take a boat in. It goes up quite a ways. Certainly get bounced around a lot in here. Coming up on civilization again. A couple marinas, waterfront restaurants here. Yep, party scene. That's uh, Gilbert's Marina, I believe, on the right. Restaurant, Anchorage Resort. Very busy around here. Everybody. <laughs> jockeying for uh, the fuel or dock and dine. Everybody waiting for dock space over here at Gilbert's. Oh, this catamaran is the one that passed us before. It looks like he's having a little bit of trouble here too. One place. E Largo. At least we'll have cell service again. A lot of activity in this bay. This entire bay is like five to eight feet. Moon Bay, whatever that is. So we got Hobo's Marina up here. I'm guessing with the blue awnings, umbrellas. Yeah, it's like it's like an RV park. Dog barking at Mady. Mady barking at the dog. Right here, the, the, yeah, the ramp and the uh, the dock, beachy area, that's 
Caribbean club or something like that. And next should be, let's see, Blue Awnings. Big Chill Restaurant. Jimmy Johnson's Big Chill Restaurant. It looks big and it looks chill. Lots of room to anchor out here too. We'll be like one of these guys later. Let's see, a few restaurants in there. Senor Frijoles. I'm guessing that's a little hut over there on the right. Did I say it right, Bridge? <laughs> Sundowners. Oops. Sundowners restaurant. Cactus Jack's restaurants. Key Largo Bayside Marina. Looking at everything on Navionics. Oh, you see those two barges? Those are fireworks barges. Oh, yeah. There's all mortars. They must have had some fireworks show here. There's one there and there's one over there. All right, now we're coming up on the Marriott Key Largo, apparently, according to Navionics, although I think it's called something else if you look on uh, Google. You don't see any signs that say Marriott, do you? Maybe. Got a little marina in there. Not sure if that's where, I would think that's where you go to go to the restaurant, Gus's. We'll check that out. Okay, water gets really shallow as you just get to the right of that resort there. So we hung a Yui going back out into deep water to drop anchor. So there's our track on the Garmin. There's our track on Navionics, spinning us around. And we'll drop all right over here. I think we'll be good. We're in like eight feet of water, six feet of water. It's hard to tell, but the water is really clear here. It's just like a grassy bottom. All right, we are anchored. About six feet of water. Bridget's smiling. Clear water over a grassy bottom. Surprised there's not more boats. Yeah, surprised there's not more boats anchored, but there's so many places down here in the Keys that you could anchor. This is just one of them. Let's check her out.